Android emulation news and updates. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I last made my news video. But today, we will cover the updates for the last two weeks and I will make it as short as possible. So, what's new? Let's find out. Our PCS3 Android is dead. Recently, DH, dev behind our PCS3 Android, announced that the project is discontinued. However, this announcement was made on April Fool, so the community thought it was a joke. Based on the announcement, 4 could be merged with RPCS X, a PlayStation 4 with future plans of PlayStation 5 emulation on PC. I believe this will not include these features on the Android version and only PS3 emulation will be supported. Anyways, this is probably just a rebranding of RPCS 3 Android to have its own identity. GitHub repository is now available, but no available release out yet. For the meantime, the last release of RPCS 3 Android is Alpha 7. There's a lot added since I last covered this on my video, but here's an overview of the updates. This update added settings, edit overlay, and system info. Settings is massive since you can do a lot of tweakings same as RPCS3 on PC. You can change advanced settings like the core, video, and other stuff too. Custom GPU driver is now also supported. You can install custom drivers under custom GPU driver. Now under edit overlay you can adjust touch controls to your liking. And for the system info, it shows your of course system info. Bluetooth controllers are also supported. However, button mappings are not supported as of the moment as far as I know. X input controller should work straight away. The update also added support for ISO files and extracted folder installation. While well, I'm hoping for the folder support to use that specific folder for the game files, however, based on testing, selecting a game folder will still extract it in RPCS3 Android data folder just like the pkg and iso installation so it means you still get double storage size if you don't delete your installer new turnip drivers now available in the last two weeks came to release three turnip drivers with the latest mesa turnip driver version 25.1.0 revision 5. this fixes severe stuttering on previous versions and some optimizations and bug fixes a lot reported revision 4 is broken with ghosting and stuttering issues so this will probably fix us those this is also compatible with winlater bionic speaking of winlater bionic a new version is available this winlater is a bit different to the official you can create a custom bionic container and have the option to utilize devices proprietary drivers so mali devices or snapdragon elite chipset will have a better chance of running games i've been using it lately and noticed performance stability and improvements for some games anyways if you want to install it link will be provided below just make sure to uninstall other winnator versions if you are facing issues with installation Winlater Afi Mod 10.0 B2 is now available. Updates include change since it draw to accelerated version, multiple variable to choose, and a few more. A hotfix for Winlater Frost is also available. Winlater Frost 10.0 B2 version 1.1 with added box 640.3.5 fixed infinite loading for older box 64 and some small fixes. GameHub now supports Steam. Version 3 is now available. It added Steam account login functionality, Steam profile page, Steam game library, local game list page, and a few more features and fixes. To update, just open the app while connected to the internet. Atahar, a 3DS emulator, finally got a stable release. Version 2120 and it already got three version updates. Current latest release is 2120.2. Android specific updates includes fixes for audio output issues and added texture sampling configuration option. If you want to see detailed change logs, links will be provided below as well as other stuff I covered in this video. 
Switch emulators did actually get an update. Version 1.015 is available with added support for Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition, update to SDL3, and some other fixes. And finally, this one is a controversy. Some of you may already know this, Citron recently purged their Discord server and only those with modified Switch through a verification can join their Discord. They are also planning to blacklist Citron users who detected unauthorized keys. Well, I have no idea how they can detect unauthorized keys, but anyways, the bigger part of this controversy are some revelations. I may be wrong here, but I've done some research. And to keep the long story short, Zephyron, the main dev of Citron, is Phoenix from Uzui Emulator. The one who also had the drama controversy with the Sadachi developer Jared Norwell. They are also using some AI stuffs with their development. And now Camille, who is one of the main developer, is departing the project. Well, they have some sort of issues there, but I don't want to go into detail and now Camille is planning to develop his or her switch emulator which will be called Eden. Anyways just take it all with a grain of salt, be skeptical and do some research if you can. Alright let me know what you think about all what we covered today. And that would be all for today's news and updates. Stuffs covered in this video, links will be provided. I hope you find this helpful and consider liking the video and subscribe if you want to get updated with the latest on Android emulation. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.